Thank you. I would uh, just like you to uh, just share your experience at Skilling. So I'll have a set of questions to go through. Okay. Uh, so you can just share your experience, your thoughts, your feedback, uh, and any other thought you want to share. Please feel free to chat with us. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think first of all, I would like to know which course did you enroll, and uh, maybe you know why did you uh, enroll in that particular course. So I enrolled for uh, the CFD Masters program, mm-hmm. uh, which consists of the four courses on uh, MATLAB, Open Form, ANSYS, yeah. uh, Converge, and uh, Python. Mm-hmm. Python Cantera. So I have been working in the CFD uh, domain. Yeah. So I was working as a research assistant at IIT. Yeah. I was in the research field, and uh, I wanted to make a transition to, you know, the industry. Right. So. Yeah, so I thought you know it would be good to pick up some more skills on the way because uh, you know industry uh, when you're in the research field it's mm-hmm. quite focused on one particular problem. So right. when you go into the industry, usually they expect you to uh, have bit wider native skills. Right. So yeah, so basically that's why I joined the uh, the course. Thanks, Ankita. And uh, so could you just walk us through your experience uh, through the coursework and. Um, how did you find our technical support so what did you like the most i think that the projects are quite uh, diverse whatever is mm-hmm. given in the coursework and uh, the videos are actually really good mm-hmm. so it is way better than any other um, platform okay um, we get a lot of tutorial videos online and all that but uh, yeah. the way the the way the courses have been mm-hmm. explained the way the you know how you go about with the software yeah. has been explained it's very uh, very good so it's easy to pick up and yeah. understand and implement it and also i like the variety of projects that are given so it's a diverse set of fields mm-hmm. basically so you get uh, a slight idea on a lot of things right how did you find our technical support uh, we have uh, yeah, the technical, uh, technical support, support team. team is very good so even if i did um, like text them in at night like i used to work usually, since i was working i used mm. to start working after evening so if, if if i had a doubt in the like late night and i yeah. used to text my uh, technical support engineer he would still reply right you guys mean the whole round the clock support is really good mm mm-hmm. Thanks, Angita. So, when did you uh, enroll the course, and how long did you did you, did you study part time, or did you take it as a full time study? No, I actually uh, took it up as part time because I was yeah. working. So that was mm-hmm. suggested to me to take it part time. But uh, yeah. so according to my full time schedule, they said it will take up about one year. But uh, yeah. I did finish it uh, before that. When it comes to uh, you, basically wanted to transit from research role into industry role. So, yes. in with that in context, uh, how would you rate your learning experience in terms of uh, gaining knowledge in this area? Yeah, so I did gain like you know the four courses that you have; they're quite mm-hmm. diverse. So yeah. I had worked with the uh, ANSYS before, mm-hmm. fluent, but yeah. not much. Like you know, just for I since I completed my masters, mm-hmm. so just for the you know minor projects over there, and yeah. all that, and uh, then I had. Uh, Worked with Open Form, yeah, in for my research work that is, yeah. So I had experience with these two softwares, but mm-hmm. even the knowledge I had mm-hmm. was not very diverse as such. So when I did the different projects at um, in the ANSYS course that was given, okay. the, so it was really helpful. I, I mean, I hadn't done, worked on problems with external flow or anything before, so I was mm-hmm. ba- basically working on multi-phase. So most of my um knowledge was you know sort of limited to those fields so okay. the diversity that was provided in the whole okay. coursework for all the projects mm-hmm. so and even the way it started like you know ma- program in matlab you start with the basics mm-hmm. so i think it's very helpful even for someone who doesn't have uh, their like they don't have they don't have basic knowledge of cfd so the way it started in the matlab course is also really good and mm-hmm. even when you don't have programming knowledge yeah it's quite quite helpful to kind of learn all that uh, would you mind sharing your experience with the skilling career team uh, of course you use it for you i believe been engaging them for quite some time now so uh, do you have any thoughts on that yeah the career success program was pretty good so they started with the 
the mentoring pretty early for me actually so mm-hmm. somewhere around november i had joined the course in august so when somewhere when i was doing my second module itself i got in touch with the career support engineer mm-hmm. so yeah initially he started with vetting my resume so that mm-hmm. took it took quite a while to make all the corrections and entering the projects and all that mm-hmm. so i've been using that uh, same resume format in a lot of places and it's really helpful right you know it's to put everything in that one page and make an impact it's quite mm-hmm. important mm-hmm. and uh, then you know i had a session on linkedin so i didn't have any clue as to how to use linkedin for the whole uh, you know get the whole advantage for the job search part so okay. you know right from um, helping me with the profile to uh, send like getting making uh, connections on linkedin so he guided mm-hmm. me through all that pretty well okay right so tell us about your uh, recent job where are you working now and can you share the, share with us the interview experience yeah so right now i have been given an offer by analyzer ca it's a yeah. company in pune they are a consultancy mm-hmm. so initially now uh, it's sort of a training period mm-hmm. so they give us different problems to work on so basically i had two rounds of interview okay the first uh, being technical and yeah. uh, the second round was more application based they just asked me like three questions in that right do you have any comments on the relevance of the course you have studied and to the uh, job that you have got now yeah so my job is uh, basically for on cfd itself okay so uh, it's mostly on fluent and open form yeah so yeah it's quite helpful okay in this transition from the research field and they are getting into uh, the core domain right so i would like to ask you what was missing in your college experience and uh, how do you think skilling bridge that gap well uh, i would say when we have lab course work in college it's not like we have projects to work on so it's mostly theory based and then connecting between so there's not a lot of connection between your uh, theory and um, what you actually learn in the lab in, in college right So there's usually a small gap which is there and mm. also it's like um, considering the length of our semesters it's not like we get a lot of time to mm. you know get a knowledge on diverse fields so usually we pick up a topic and then work on our research so like i said earlier mm. it's more unilateral so sort of just one directional you don't learn a lot of things so if you are focused on say internal flows you usually don't have knowledge on anything else mm-hmm. so doing this variety of courses and also the number of softwares that i learned so mm-hmm. coding and then um, so cantera and converge were completely new to me and converge is uh, actually not a very heard of software in the same mm-hmm. field it's just gaining popularity and but however the software is like really good and mm-hmm. learning it is quite helpful yeah but not there's not a lot of uh, materials that are present online on all that and getting a license to learn the software and everything is quite right. good actually thanks ankita so could you uh, take us through your project experience uh, how did you use the skilling projects platform how did you start when how did you feel when in the beginning and how do you feel now yeah so initially uh, it was just about posting um you know just the projects which i had to post like you know you guys have a tick mark thing mm-hmm. in the old interface uh, where you have to post this project in the project space then uh, as i proceeded through the course i started uh, posting more projects than just the mandatory ones yeah and uh, yeah obviously giving the link to recruiters and everything lets them it's sort of like you know how coders have this uh, github platform yeah so it's sort of helpful in that way so some people can see your work thanks ankita and uh, i know it's been a lately it's been a testing time for job aspirants and the covid situation only made it uh, difficult for many so uh, i just wanted to ask you was there a time uh, where you felt you wanted to give up or how did you manage that time no actually when i started looking for jobs was around january Okay. and uh, then suddenly the whole like i was getting interviews but suddenly any of the interviews which i had gone to yeah. uh, all the posts got rescinded because of the mm-hmm. whole situation and mm-hmm. so after that it did take a while to actually start looking so i kept looking but obviously there weren't any vacancies that were mm-hmm. being shown on there and then slowly after a couple of months 
uh, the vacancy started to show up so basically it just takes you know constant applying mm-hmm. till something works out yeah i really really appreciate your persistence in doing that um so ankita if you were to give advice for current skilling students what would it be yeah, i would uh, say you know learn more go with more projects they can mm-hmm. actually post more projects in their uh, say in the mm-hmm. case yeah the project stage i think that would be helpful right and uh, yeah i think the you know for the kind of courses that are there in the curriculum are pretty diverse and good so recently mm-hmm. guys have added even gt power right? yeah so yeah basically every day they get knowledge right from coding to one day you know, all that thanks ankita thanks for that and anyway uh congratulations on your new role you are excited for you and we are very happy and uh, it's a privilege uh, working with students who are uh, hard working and who don't give up in testing times so well done uh, ankita thank you so much for joining today and have a good evening